Hi everyone, on today's episode we will show you how to install solar pathway lights from Hampton Bay. These lights retail for $6 per light, we purchased 12. Make sure to watch until the end of this video for a complete review of these solar lights. And remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe. It's free. As you can see, the front of our house is very dark. These lights will come in handy. The Hampton Bay solar light comes with a ground stake, a light pole with a light fixture. Simply remove the top of the light and pull the red tab to activate the solar light. I did a quick measure of the pathway where the lights will be installed. I determined that seven lights would be enough to light this path at night. On the other side of the driveway, I will install five lights that mirror the lights on this side. I figured the spacing between each light will be about three feet apart. My game plan is to install a light at the top and then at the bottom of the driveway first. Then I can start to space the lights equally down the pathway. My goal is to install all the lights about 5 inches from the edge of the bricks, which will prevent me from running over the lights with my car. This is the location for the first light and the ground is very hard. I even found concrete. Simply hammer the light stake into the ground. The top of the stake should be at ground level or a little bit below. Use a rubber mallet to avoid breaking the stake. One down and 11 to go. Okay, while you watch me install these solar lights, I will give you a review of this product. First, for the price of $6 per light, it's a great deal. If you're on a tight budget and you need some light in a dark pathway, especially for safety and security, then this is a good light for that application. These lights held up well in high winds and even in rain. All 12 lights stayed on with no problems. That was the good, now here is the not so good. First, I did break one stake while hammering it into the ground, so be careful. Only broke off about a third of the stake, so I was able to still use it. Also, the light gives off a strange illumination pattern, which I'm not that fond of. But that's more of a personal preference. Also, if you install these lights near a house light or a front porch light, the solar lights do not shine bright, but sometimes do not turn on at all because the sensor detects it's daytime. One more issue is putting the cap back on the top of the light after removing the red tab. It's kind of tricky to get it back on. I didn't show that part because I needed to keep this video as short as possible. So the Hampton Bay solar lights are good, but not great. In this case, you get what you pay for. So I would recommend this product, but not strongly recommend it. I want to thank you for watching, and if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe. It's free. Thanks for watching.